A high-quality football game is inseparable from a high-quality turf. The green field of the World Cup is a stage for soccer stars from all over the world to show themselves, and the green field is also a performance of advanced technology. Chinese technology has made an important contribution to the turf irrigation and maintenance that is crucial to the Qatar World Cup, that is, the complete solution of underground infiltration irrigation technology developed by the Ningxia University team was used in the greening project of the Qatar World Cup. As we all know, the Qatar World Cup is the first time in the history of the World Cup in a desert climate environment, and it is held in winter. This is not the summer when the lawn is naturally green, but the winter when the turf is in withering period. Therefore, such a climate environment has brought great challenges to turf maintenance. Take the giant European stadiums as a reference, in winter, the irrigation of a stadium requires 10,000 liters of water per day, and Qatar has built a total of eight stadiums to host this World Cup, which is a huge consumption when combined. Regardless of technical means, a large amount of water resources are needed just to irrigate the grass field. However, Qatar's main means of obtaining fresh water is seawater desalination, which not only consumes a lot of energy, but also requires the construction of seawater desalination plants. The World Cup is temporary, and Qatar is a small country. It is unreasonable to build a large number of permanent desalination plants for the World Cup in less than a month. In addition, the additional cost of seawater desalination is somewhat unaffordable even for the wealthy oil country Qatar. For example, Saudi Arabia, which borders Qatar, consumes 300,000 barrels of crude oil per day in its 30 desalination plants, and an average desalination plant consumes 10,000 barrels of oil per day. In addition, from an environmental point of view, the concentrated brine produced by seawater desalination will also cause serious ecological problems. Overall, this method of maintaining turf is not worth the candle. Therefore, there is a strong need for Qatar to develop a water-efficient method of irrigation. Only in this way can they not only solve the problem of insufficient water resources, but also greatly reduce the consumption of resources and assist Qatar in fulfilling its commitment of carbon neutrality for this World Cup. Therefore, China's water-saving technology has appeared in this World Cup. In today's video, let's take a look at how Chinese technology keeps the stadium of this World Cup evergreen. Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time, a channel to interpret news from a new perspective and explore the wisdom behind the news. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. In order to keep the stadium evergreen, Qatar has worked hard on the selection of turf varieties, grass source supply and mixed turf solutions for this World Cup. But high-quality turf is inseparable from maintenance. As mentioned above, water-saving turf irrigation technology is a huge challenge. The Chinese team from Ningxia University provided a technical solution that meets the requirements of water-saving and carbon reduction and intelligent control underground irrigation system. The service cost of this technology reached 1.264 billion US dollars. In desert areas, the water loss of traditional irrigation methods largely comes from radiative evaporation, which cannot be avoided even by the well-known drip irrigation technology overseas. The core of water saving is to reduce the escape from wind and sun. Therefore, it is very important to realize the underground irrigation, that is, to lay directly on the root base of the crop, watering the crop draft, so that water and fertilizer will be directly transported to solve this problem. What's more, the underground of the irrigation network also helps to eliminate the influence of ultraviolet rays on pipeline aging. According to the official report that the Ningxia University team signed a contract with the World Cup in Qatar, this system will be used for 20 years. In addition, this is also a precise control over the amount of water and where to irrigate. The uneven light and air circulation throughout the course means that water consumption is also uneven. The system is capable of both interval percolation and full percolation with full pipes, providing precise control of irrigation water. The core of the technology is to use the Internet of Things technology for the whole process of intelligent control. The sensor for monitoring the soil moisture is buried along with the pipeline and connected to the control of the system. 
The system will be alerted by sensors when there is less moisture in a particular patch of soil, and the area is then finally irrigated by irrigation pipes until the moisture level reaches the optimal care range for the turf. In this process, the entire Internet of Things can be controlled by mobile phone software for irrigation. When necessary, the entire process can be fully automated. This greatly avoids the shortcomings of the traditional circular irrigation method and generally reduces water consumption by about 70%, compared with drip irrigation, which reduces water consumption by 30%. The system also coordinates the construction of a series of wind energy and photovoltaic power generation modules on the periphery of the stadium to provide water transfer energy in the stadium. Under the premise of reducing water consumption, the consumption of fossil energy is further reduced. According to Qatar's National Development Plan, it is to transform the country into an advanced society capable of achieving sustainable development. China's water-saving technology is in line with Qatar's development vision, helping traditional resource-based countries to achieve sustainable development and has the potential to be further promoted in water-scarce regions of the Middle East. Plus, the technology didn't just help this World Cup. In fact, it appeared in the arid areas of China earlier, helping to solve the local water difficulties. At present, China is still in a state of water shortage as a whole, and the water shortage situation varies from region to region. It is also the country with the most complex water conservation needs in the world. In northwest China, China has done a lot of work on water use. Surrounded by sand on three sides, with a dry climate and severe water shortage, Ningxia province has a similar natural environment to Arab countries in desert areas. They all have an urgent need to improve the utilization rate of water resources. Therefore, Ningxia is one of the main places for research and development of water-saving technology in China. The local area took the lead in further promoting water-saving technology and accelerated the construction of modern ecological irrigation areas. The total area of efficient water-saving irrigation in the region has reached 4.705 million mu, accounting for nearly 50% of the total irrigation area. After a long period of development, China has already possessed the most advanced water-saving technology in the world. The technology developed by Ningxia University has actually been widely promoted in agricultural irrigation in Ningxia, effectively improving the output of dry farming agriculture. Now, China has finally succeeded in applying this technology to the grass field of the World Cup through appropriate transformation. There are still many countries along the Belt and Road that have the same problems as Qatar. China, which has advanced water-saving technologies, will also promote these advanced technologies to other countries and regions in the world that urgently need them. The smart underground irrigation system can fundamentally reduce the consumption of water resources, and it must help arid areas to solve water problems to a certain extent. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.